welcome back to another episode of the Performance Kitchen. On today's show, we have a remarkable sportswoman who's competed at four Paralympics. Please welcome swimming superstar, Claire Cashmore, MBE. Thank you. Claire, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you. Now, these ingredients, what are we gonna to cook today? Today, we are making a Goan prawn curry. That sounds very exotic. Yeah. We've got a lot of <laughs> ingredients. Talk me through how we're gonna do this. Um, so basically, we're going to marinate prawns, um, and then we're gonna fry up a little bit of onion mm -hmm. and all the spices together, mix in the coconut paste, add a few fresh spices, and voila, we've got a beautiful curry. Oh. Definitely a meal, but it sounds delicious. I'm sure it will be delicious. Should Let's we get hope cracking? so, yes, definitely. What is first? So first we've got the prawns, which we need to marinate with the turmeric, vinegar, and a pinch of salt. Fab, so should we just de-shell these? We've yes. actually got prawns with their shells and tails on, so we're just gonna chop those So it's off. 400 grams of prawns we've got here. Fabulous. Make a nice mess as you uh, de-shell them. It's not very uh, elegant, but... De-shelling prawns is never elegant, but, you know, needs must when we're in the kitchen. Okay. Using your... Uh... Uh, yeah, just pop them on there. Um, so going back to when you were training, doing championships, what would your normal daily meal intake be when you were training for a championship? Um, so I, I loved I loved breakfast, it's my favourite meal of the day, so I'd actually have two breakfasts, take advantage of that. Um, so I'd have something before I went swimming in the morning, so I'd, I'd often make myself a, a birch and muesli, which I'd soak the night before, and have it in, straight away from a pot when I wake up in the morning, yeah. so it's, just, it's really easy. Straight away fueling yeah. your body for the day. Yeah, um, and then straight out, I'd obviously go swimming for two hours, come back, and I would have like avocado on toast, or generally rye bread with a bit of egg or something like that. And then a few hours later, I eat again. <laughs> you got to Great. snack regularly, especially just keeping your energy levels high and swimming, you burn so many calories of course, that I constantly yeah. need to eat. So yeah, I'd have a lunch of, you know, hummus, pitta, whatever it might be. And then again, another snack, swim, and then come back and have my main More meal, foods. something like this. Did you ever have to control your weight when you were swimming? Or you were sort of burning that many calories. Yeah. You were like, actually I can, your body actually gets quite used to it because you're, you know, I've been doing it for how many years mm. and your body actually adapts to burning those amount of calories yeah. so it, it kind of starts to slow down a little bit. Um, so I did and we had regular skin folds which they measure all your fat on your body which is really lovely. Oh, um, my worst yeah. nightmare. <laughs> so we had that quite regularly so kind of you could control and manage where you were at and obviously going into competition you kind of wanted to be slightly leaner. Yeah. So you'd you'd specifically manage your diet around that. Okay, Claire, so what's next? We've peeled the prawns. So now we're gonna marinate them. So we've got half a teaspoon of turmeric, which we're gonna put into this bowl. Yep. Um, and we are going to put vinegar. So we've got the vinegar here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use a tablespoon of vinegar. So if I... Yeah, if I... Dream to there we go. There we go. Oh, this is just filling it up. your average malt vinegar yep. from supermarket. Malt vinegar, vinegar, and then just a pinch of salt. That's sugar. Well, we like a bit of sugar in there too. <laughs> yeah. Sugar's going to come next. It looks so like sugar. It, it looks the same. It does. Easy mistake The pinch of salt yeah. in there. And then we'll just put the prawns in. Great. And just give them a good old stir, stir around. around. And then we're just going to leave them for 15 minutes to marinate whilst we make the rest of the, uh, the curry. Oh yeah, this is, I like this kind of organic way of doing it cooking and not having any jars and sauces yeah from me too it's, uh, it's a good way because like, like I say you do know what's going into it so you say 15 minutes marinate these yeah so just put, we can put them to the side there for a minute and then we need to put should we just use this bowl for the cumin seeds yeah let's just go for it so we need to put cumin seeds we've got one tea one teaspoon mm -hmm. not tablespoon teaspoon of cumin seeds and then we've got that you know a dash of a dash of peppercorns, peppercorns. Ooh. And then... Okay, I think that's maybe around 10. Yeah, 10, ten. perfect. <laughs> and then we that. want some coriander. So we're gonna use fresh coriander now, yeah. and then we're gonna grind it all in, get all the flavors. Great, but we could use any, you know, dried coriander, anything yeah. else for this, this can, recipe. Yeah, exactly, so coriander, coriander seeds, whatever, we just thought coriander. Mm -hmm. Fresh coriander has a bit more flavor. Still unsure on coriander quantities, but we will, that's about <laughs> right, do we think? So yeah, yeah, now we just need to grind them up, <laughs> get the flavors out. <laughs> I think this will help you with your grinding, so yep. we can just get going. So there. this is just to get the flavours, like release the flavours out of it. So just 
just try and grind it as much as you can. Um, and then next, what we're going to do is get yep. the oil in the pan. Start great. Start getting the cooking going. I will going. get the cooker switched on, and then we can get this one over here. Put that around there, and a pan. There was you a can pan. use a coffee grinder actually yep. to make this slightly easier. I'm just going to grab easy. a pan. If, uh, if you can't be bothered to do it the hard way. Coffee but grinder, that's yeah. an interesting one. But right. we'd like to kind of make it a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah. So in the pan, you've got that to... Is good, that is good grinding. You did a better job than me. I think that's going to really be delicious as well. Yeah, nice, it's fresh. You can smell it's looking all, good. The, right, all the herbs so and the flavours. Pan on the hob. Yeah, and then we're going to put some rapeseed oil in. Rapeseed oil. I'd say a tablespoon. Yeah. A tablespoon's fine. Let's go with it. And then and we're going to chop up the onion. Oil. So I've heard rapeseed oil is sort of better for you than olive oil. Yeah. Half... Half the saturated fats of olive oil. Oh really? Yeah, wow. indeed. That's a and this is good fact to know. Grown on a farm in Yorkshire, may I? May oh, I say? Lovely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at this. Whites of old cuddly. It's very posh stuff. Is this your, bro it, your brother's? It's my brother's then? business. Yeah. So oh, he's wow. supplying a lot of pubs and, and um, sort of other establishments are using it as an alternative to olive oil now. Okay, back to the, the method the Cooking. thing in hand. Yeah, um, we've got half an onion here, which we're cooking. Half an onion, I'm going to pop that into the pan. Chopping even. Yeah. We're not quite cooking it yet. No, As you can tell, onion. I'm uh, really good at cutting. My mum always freaks out. She watches me cut. She's like, hey, you look like you're going to chop your arm off even more. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fine, mum. I'm under control. Yeah, you've got it. You've got it, it makes everybody feel nervous. So I apologise to everybody if you're <laughs> slightly worried. Let's just go one step here. So after the onions... Yeah, we're going um, to... Put the tomatoes in. So yep, basically, so you I want to brown start chopping the tomatoes. tomatoes. Great. We're going to put the onions in here and actually brown them up. Yep. So we're just going to. So for about five, five kind of minutes, yep. I reckon, to make sure that. Put the heat up a little bit on there. Yep. <laughs> so onions going in, and then we're going to put the tomatoes. I'll Once they brown, we put the tomatoes yep. in, soften those up. Great. And then, oh, put the dried spices in. Okay, Claire, so onions, tomatoes are in there, sizzling yeah. away. Um, what's next? So we just want to wait till the tomatoes are softened. And now we've got to cut, we've got three cloves of garlic, which we're yep. going to cut up, and the ginger. Great. So we're going to grate the ginger into it, just so, like, again, the flavours are released. Mm -hmm. um, so if you just try and cut the ginger, uh, the garlic, garlic as fine as possible. Dice it. What's Make your way of smell nice. chopping up, peeling the garlic and chopping it I up. always... Uh, crush it like you that. You crush it. Uh, skin comes I off like quite it. easily. Yeah. You, to be honest, you would probably a, tell no, me better tips. I would absolutely, I wouldn't take me for, take me for a <laughs> top Michelin star chef, oh, but I gave I was a little... you were. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, darling, no, you're so wrong. <laughs> well, you know, you obviously put yourself in and you just look like a pro. Oh, so. uh, well, uh, it's all a facade. <laughs> it's all a facade. Okay, so we're dicing the garlic and then we're going to grate the ginger. Is the garlic meant to make your eyes water? Because this is no. definitely making my eyes. You, you have aided the onion and now the garlic is the getting Going. Me. Shedding, shedding, try and get shedding it. Shedding a tear. Small as possible. having so much fun. They're happy to Exactly. Tears. It's just happy so much tears. excitement here. Mm. Delicious. Uh, fresh garlic does make a difference, oh, doesn't yeah, it? Definitely. Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in. Okay. Just chuck it in the pan. There we go. Put mine in too. And actually, we've got one more here. One more clove. Yeah, and whilst you do that, shall I start grating? Yeah, start grating the ginger. Okay. And then we'll uh, be pretty much midway through the rest of it. Yeah. I think we're. So, Claire, I think one of the remarkable things that I find um, about you as an athlete is that you've competed at four Paralympics. Yeah. So that meant you started. Old lady. Out. <laughs> We won't go that far, but you don't look, you look very well, you look oh, very good thanks. for 50, Claire. Yeah, I know, you know it's all the food, the, the go and curry I eat, you see it. It's all these fresh it's herbs. useful. All these fresh herbs and spices. Yeah, definitely. Um, so for Paralympics, um, which meant, were you 16 at your first games? Yeah. Unbelievable. How did you deal with that um, as a youngster combining school and representing your country at one of the most sort of iconic sporting events? It was a challenge, um, particularly because at that time I was living in Kidderminster at, with my parents yeah. and they didn't have the facilities there yeah. for me to be able to, or the, the, t the 
pool time. Mm. So I actually ended up spending a lot of my time swimming on my own, my dad acting as my lifeguard and just trying to get as many hours as I could in and then, you know, obviously I swim in the morning and then go straight to school, yeah. come back straight, do my homework and then I'd be straight after the pool again. Full my poor on. parents acting as uh, taxi drivers. Um, so yeah, it was, it was very full on, but it was really worth it. Yeah. You know, going to the Paralympics at age 16 was an amazing experience. Unbelievable. It really was. And right, so we have put in the chopped, Ginger and yeah, garlic. garlic. Grated ginger. Now we're on to the, the dried spices, mm -hmm. which we've uh, You've done a super job. Mess and porter? I think I got that a little bit confused. Water than there we go. Nice. Oh, it's the bank holiday, it's fine. <laughs> exactly, it's, it's the weekend. I'm you know, feeling a little bit tired from all the training. <laughs> so you were training this morning? Yeah, yeah. I was swimming, swimming in the lake with uh, the duck poo, which was really nice. Oh, delicious. Yeah, don't worry, I have showered. So. Showered and washed our hands <laughs> many times. There we go. Right, so we've so got that's to just that's stir it. those that's in, garlic, release cook, the flavours. All these like natural ingredients going in. A few um, minutes of this. Back to you as an athlete. Um, we're having too much fun doing about <laughs> everything else. You then competed at two more games, which you did fantastically well at, which is London oh, yes. and Beijing. Yeah. But you got you bought home the gold in um, finally. Rio. You finally. bought home the gold in Rio. Uh, what did that feel like? Finally. Oh, amazing! Like I think it was kind of an ongoing story. Al Claire, yeah. the silver, the silver. You know, and like I said, I think straight away in my interview, I was like, I'm fed up of being the bloody bridesmaid. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, you I wanted it. You were yeah, so exactly. hungry for that. So then, you know, my final race to actually win yeah. that gold medal was pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, it was standing on the podium, singing the national anthem, and I, you know, I thought I would be really calm and content and be able to sing it yeah. calmly, but I was there like dancing away, and I was like, but what I mean, has that, come over me? Why have I suddenly turned that into That feeling me? of being on that podium, Nash on the podium, yeah. the best in the world at that time. Yeah. It must be so I can't comprehend because I've never been in that position, but milk it. it. Milk it for all <laughs> it's worth. <laughs> Do right. anything that makes you seem stupid. Right, shall we are we so, yeah. putting these prawnies in now? Yeah, we need to okay. put prawns in for and then like kinda soak yeah. all the flavours in. And that I'm ooh, and I'm actually really impressed with how it's marinated. Yeah, we literally put a few ingredients in but it's covered all those prawns. So now we just want to leave this for about five minutes. Yeah. On get a, all the on a really low temperature. Yeah, we're just sizzling this away on number three on our lovely range. Get the prawns to soak everything up. Mm -hmm. And then after about five minutes, we're going to put the coconut milk in. Coconut milk, which is here. Yeah. Again. So we're going to have five minutes. Should we be dicing the the chilies? Chilies. Yeah. Okay. Chilies in preparation. Should I feel like I'm a bit chilies? of a bossy chef here. Yeah. <laughs> you I like being a sous chef. I like it. So we're going to dice these. I'm just going to put these. I can put these down the middle up. like that. Open them up. So we've got the chilies, we've got like the tamarind. Two yes. chilies? Two chilies. Two chilies, perfect. So this is just to garnish really at the end. We don't right. want to actually cook this too much. Get all those seeds out as well. Oh, I don't know. Add a bit of spice. Oh, keep them in. Oh, she it. likes it hot. <laughs> I've uh, sliced that up a little bit too much. Yeah. There so, we go. And we water as well. So we need to put this. Have we mixed the water in here already? No, water hasn't been mixed. Do we need to okay. mix water? Okay. So we need a tin of coconut. Yep. And then we need, I think it was 80, 80 ml. ml of water. Okay. Should we just so measure that? Cut there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we've got 80 ml of just fresh tap water here. We're going to pop that in. And some coconut, a co tin of coconut milk. Fabulous. And just put that on top. Put it back. Oh, this is, this is now starting to look like a curry. It is. Oh, sloshing it all over. It around. We need the tamarind as well. We're going to put a yep. tablespoon of tamarind a tablespoon. in. So this is just in here. It's going to thicken it up and add, add that nice rich flavour. See, you sound like you know your oh. stuff there. <laughs> Michelin star there stuff. Go, oh, a little bit of extra. Little bit we didn't get a full tablespoon. <laughs> and I love it. And I, I probably tamarind. lost half of it as I'm uh, sloshing around. Then we've got Delicious. to leave this to simmer for I think about five minutes. Mm, that is really Wait good. Wait for the flavours to come out and then we're going to put the chilies and what was our final ingredient? Co do you sprinkle some more coriander on the top? Oh yeah, fresh coriander, yeah, and, fresh chilies. coriander and, and chilies. I do know this recipe, top. I don't feel like you I do, do I? Cook it all the time, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It's a regular, it's my favourite dish. Can't believe, <laughs> can't believe I can't remember it. Well, okay, that is simmering away and we leave that for yeah. four to five minutes did you yeah. say? Right. Just you don't want to overcook the prawns, but you want to make sure that, that they've absorbed all the flavours. Mm. 
fabulous. And should we, let's go back to these chilies. These are just yeah. going to... I'll get some coriander whilst... Uh... Yeah. So Claire, I've got to ask you... Um, just rip off a bunch. <laughs> after you know, your experience at so many different Paralympics, tell me a little bit about the movement that the Paralympics have gone in. For me, I realised the difference after 2012, but maybe yeah. you, know, you, you obviously know a lot more about that. Oh, no, definitely. Um, I think, obviously, Having been to four Paralympics, I've really noticed a change. Mm -hmm. um, Athens, you know, you'd kind of talk to people about the Paralympics and they'd be like, what's the Paralympics? Mm. Um, whereas London, we were really put on a pedestal. Um, and I don't know if you saw the campaign, the Superhuman campaign, which I was really lucky to be involved in. Um, and you'd have kids coming up to you and you'd be like, oh, I want to be a superhuman, how do I be like you? And these kids had two arms and two legs and no disability. Yeah. And they wanted, they saw us Paralympians as idols, which is just, an amazing thing. Um, so obviously Rio had a lot to live up to and there was a lot of negative media press before we went out there. But they did an amazing job and they really, the perceptions of people, you know, around places has massively changed and particularly kids, which, yeah. you know, is our key target audience. Mm. Often you're not going to change yeah. perceptions of older people, but might be slightly stuck in their ways of not seeing it on a, an equal playing field. But no, it, it, it's been it really has changed, which is great. Okie doke, back to the mash in hand of this lovely sizzling curry. Um, I love how you guys, sorry, dice them out. <laughs> dice the chilies. Isn't it, isn't it just going to do a garnish? Right, Claire, is it time to plate it? Yeah. Up. I will. Bring I hope up. you like them. I'm this sure is it will. the uh, I love prawns. The moment okay, of the truth. Moment. Quite, I don't want to be burning you. Yeah, okay. There we go. And should we just ladle it in? Get a bit in each bowl. And I guess you could have this with any sort of carbohydrate, rice, brown yeah. rice, quinoa. Normally um, I would have it with rice, to be honest. Um, you yeah. know, particularly after training, you need to refuel box. the carbs. But today we just that. thought, have it slightly lighter, mm -hmm. lighter snack. And it, right, so I'll garnish this. Yeah. Just in a little, little bit of... Yeah. Fill it up more. Okay. All right. We'll just lovely. It's starting to burn the fingers. Oh, That's all good. Right. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Right. So now sprinkle a little bit of coriander on it, and got a few chilies. <laughs> lovely diced chilies. <laughs> Obviously, you could do this as long chilies as well. But <laughs> do it as you like. Really. Do it as you like. This is lovely. I cool. love fresh coriander. I'll Put a few more prawns in there. there and we then go. we'll put some coriander on top. Yeah, a bit more sauce in there as well. Okay, you can't actually see the prawns in this one. There we okay, go. Right, bit yeah, coriander, that's great. And chili, a bit chili, and I'll take this over there. And there's still quite a lot left over, so you get a few more bowls out of this Should as well. We put the the rest of this coriander in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can put the few chilies in there. Waste not, want not, and all Ooh, that. Oh, the chilies are burning. Oh. So as you can see, we've made a pretty nice little presentation platter. I yeah, it looks myself. very good. I'm excited to tuck in. Me too, yeah. Okay. Okay. Make sure you get a prawn. For a prawn. That's the main, that's the Love that we're both uh, on the same wavelength. Got a full pepper Just make sure you don't get a tail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to spill. I feel like it's quite uh, full. <laughs> I'm mm. really impressed. Mm. That Even amazing. though we winged it a little bit. Oh, the neck is really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I chili <laughs> How many did you put in? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going for another one. Whoa! Whoa. Did you get some chili? I think I did, but I'm, I, I ate it, about five. Mine's covered in a bit, a bit afterwards. It's, it's I actually can't. really flavoursome until you get the chilies. So I stick to the prawns mm. and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> The chilli that was meant to be just halved and put on top. You okay. could just put one chilli in, or maybe no chilies at all. But on that one. I'm going for another one because mm. it is so delicious. I'm really <laughs> oh, I got chilli. <laughs> oh, are they like the super hot chilies? <laughs> They're just green chilies, are they? <laughs> I'm normally quite good with spice, but it starts to make me sweat. <laughs> and it's hot in here already. <laughs> You're sweating for us too. Flipping it, honestly, that is so hot. I quite like it, but normally you'd have this. It is quite spicy, but normally you would have this with some rice or yeah. um, some sort of carbohydrate, which would cool it down. 
could always put on Greek yogurt. Sadly, we don't yeah. have any today, so we're going to go hardcore and just. I think, to be fair, the flavours are really good. It's, it's just the little chunks of chilies that kind of they've got that good kick. If you if you like spice, it's perfect. Yes, I'm, I'm I'm loving it. Well, Claire, thank you very much for coming in thank today. You. It has been an absolute blast. Thank you and very I'm much for having me. Our, cooking our going. Curry. <laughs> yeah, go with chili curry. It's Super great. chili. Super chili. And guys, thank you very much once again for watching the Performance Kitchen. Remember to watch our YouTube, subscribe, and visit our Facebook page. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Was I, was I meant to walk off on that one? No, no, no. I'm just to the side. <laughs> right. It is actually really it's tasty. It's really I, I don't think it's actually that bad. But take, take a few, take a few chilies. You're not getting any chilies, you've got a tail there too. Mm. Mm.